So, you want to see water freeze almost immediately? Well, here's what you're going to need. Uh, some very pure water. Fiji water has been recommended to me uh, by a friend. And obviously we're going to need a freezer, some way to cool it down. So I'm going to put this uh, bottle of water in the freezer in the area normally occupied by the ice cube trays because I think that might be the coldest part of my freezer. I've got two bottles just in case one doesn't work. And now we have to wait. There are lots and lots of videos showing this phenomenon on YouTube, but very few that explain how it actually works. So I'd like to take a minute and do that. Water is normally a liquid at room temperature because the water molecules are all flowing past each other, tumbling around each other, and that allows the substance to flow. When something becomes solid, its molecules all more or less lock into place. They still vibrate, but they're not rolling over each other and moving past each other so they can no longer flow. They're solid. Now what we're doing here is super cooling the water. So we're taking it below its temperature, below zero degrees, where it, will, it should become ice. But it's very difficult for that water to make the transition without somewhere for that ice crystal to start growing. So what we need is some kind of nucleation event. If the water is not pure, the impurities in the water naturally act as sites where the crystal can start forming. That's why it's very important that we use uh, very, very pure water. Another way we can cause this nucleation event is to bang the water bottle. Hopefully that'll cause a few water molecules to line up in the right uh, way and that will seed the rest of the ice crystal. So uh, let's give it a few hours and we'll come back and try to nucleate this, uh, this ice forming event. All right, it's taken a few days and multiple attempts, but I think this could finally be it. I might have finally created super cooled water. So uh, let's, let's find out. I'm gonna take the water very carefully out of the freezer. And now you can see clearly that the water is still liquid. You can see this air bubble floating around. And now I'm going to uh, bang it on the counter and we will see if we can get an ice crystal to form. Whoa, look at that. You can see that ice crystal growing right down from the top to the bottom. So there you have it. I was finally able to demonstrate the supercooled water phenomenon. I cooled down the very pure water in my freezer for two or three hours and then by banging the water bottle on the counter I started uh, the formation of an ice crystal at the top of the bottle of water which quickly grew uh, down to the bottom.